you. They're not closed. I'm squinting. Your lady friend is riding my last nerve. Oh, my leg. On the bed. Ow. What's she doing? Uh, she just approached me with some sob story about how she can only defend you on the front lines and... Blah, 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 and how to please protect him in the shadows. And I just had to remind her of her place. Hopefully she takes it to heart this time, leaves me the fuck alone. Mm. Don't worry, I didn't fucking snap at her or anything. I let them that I was here far before she was, and I will be here far after she's gone. And I don't need her to tell me who to protect. You're pretty much doing it anyway, aren't you? <laughs> exactly, my frustrations. Oh, she doesn't know that, I suppose. Probably not. Poor thing. Oof. I just get so annoyed by being annoyed by her. Does that make sense? <laughs> I suppose. Almost a fucking century old. I don't need to be dealing with this drama, emotional bullshit that honestly doesn't fit into my weekly schedule. You're still young. A century old is, you know... I feel it. My bones hurt. I can fucking relate to that. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> it's definitely something. Nearly popped my shoulder out last night. I'm getting old. Really? How'd you do that? I was moving along the rooftops. Loose tile and caught myself. I'm fine, but fucking ached for a bit afterwards. <sighs> you need me so desperately. You would have been bored, it was a lot of talking. Oh no, don't worry. I don't have any more room. Except what I've already promised you. I'll handle your wet work, but I'm not talking to your whores. I'll fuck them, but I'm not talking to them. That's fair. <laughs> what happened to your thing tonight? I thought you were doing something. No fucking idea. Mercenary work is... As shady as the people that do it. Hmm. I have a question, though. You do feel horrible for having to go behind your woman's back, right? Of course. Even a Sevita? Of course. Hmm. Why? No worry. Just wondering. <sighs> I do need to make coin in now. Fuck. Once we have enough iron, your dagger's on the, the top of the list, so... I can get that to you as soon as I can. Much appreciated. I need mm. that. Mm. If you want me to do any wet work, that's exactly what I need, is that fucking knife. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Are you working for a company? Soon. I am partnered with the Mercenaries Guild as well as the Carters Guild, yes. But I don't belong to anyone. Hmm. Soon I'll have my own cart. 
and I won't have to rely on a company. It's profitable. Yes, and then I could work with Vesrin. And we could really start looking for shit like we want to. That is, if his wants still line up with mine. Albeit they have been stifled for a while. Survival first, leisure second. I'm going to be very honest with you. I still very much care for you. And it's hard to see you with Eliana. So if I come off as short or distant, don't take it personal. Just working through how it makes me feel instead of acting on my emotions. <laughs> But it's not something I can't fix. I don't want to put you in any position, Sarah. <laughs> like what? I don't want to make you feel- You get so angry, I'll stab her one day. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm talking about you, actually, rather than the response you'd garner. I don't want you to feel upset. I've really thought about that. I guess I am upset. It's alright. What I said is the truth, even if it burns a bit. I I'm appreciate you telling the truth. I feel like a child. Pouting in the corner. <laughs> it's embarrassing, really. I try to play it off, but even watching her grab your face has my leg bouncing. <sighs> if only. Regardless, without making it awkward, just know I'm not going to let it get in the way of our work. It's just annoying. Right. So if I snap at you, it's nothing personal. Isn't it personal, though, by definition? Kind of. I know what you mean, but... Uh, it's not your fault, though. <sighs> right. Just fucking sucks. You and Cade in the same goddamn city. At once. I had two years, but... The two of you have left an impression on me that, um... No one else has. I usually just toss away whatever man comes in my path, but I can't seem to get rid of either of you, no matter how hard I try. It's strange how paths seem to cross, huh? Fate has a funny way. And the red strings will continue to knot themselves together until one of them is cut. We've had really long strings. Of course, they're going to get tangled up. I don't want to hurt him or you again, but I feel like. I've punished myself enough. I have yet to bed anyone. <laughs> Since Adwick, believe it or not, I was a mother for a while. It was enriching. I may not have produced them myself, but I fed them, I clothed them. I made sure they were sleeping correctly. I handled disputes between them. And then me. I didn't have time for any... Relaxation, and now... 
It's weird waking up and not immediately feeling anxiety. I have a place that's my own. But I cannot seem to shake this feeling of loneliness. Probably should have opted for a place with windows, but I can appreciate the lack of them. Yeah, Tang could punch a hole in the wall or something. <laughs> and the rats would get in. Yeah. I like it dark in here anyway. Regardless of the time of day, my eyes are at ease. I don't want to put you in an uncomfortable situation. It's not unbearable. Dealing with being around you and her. I guess I'm just trying to figure out how to navigate it the best. It's not something for you to navigate. It's my mind. You are doing nothing wrong. Navigating it implies that you need to change. And that's exactly not what I want. I like how things are now. But I do not like her. I feel like she needs to grow a fucking backbone. If she wanted to, she could protect you in this side. If she really cared, she would delve with you. I don't let her. Maybe you should. No. We could teach her. Make her actually fucking useful. I won't push it. We have Cade anyway. Apparently he... is more fit for our kind of work now. So sneaky, I what haven't I've even seen, seen him all day. Is he out of town? I think he is. Huh. He's probably handling courier work. I still haven't sat down and talked to him yet. I hope to be there when you do. That sounds interesting. Yeah. We got a lot to talk about. I appreciate you talking to me, though. Though I do feel very uh, flighty now and awkward that I've placed a wall between us. But uh, Silver said that honesty is the best policy and I shouldn't keep anything like that to myself. So. Yeah, I mean, I know what's going on now, at least, so... You know, it's... She just gets on my fucking nerves, that's all. <sighs> mm. Look at all your straps. Strappy boy. Gotta keep it tight. How long does it take to put that on? I've actually gotten it down to a fine art. I don't take them all off completely, I loosen them. <laughs> ah, and they shimmy out. Basically, yeah. I have this pocket thing for something, I don't know what it is. You know, it's like a... Oh, you can put snacks in it, hold on. This is a snack pocket. In it. It's my cornhole. <laughs> I can't wait to throw that in someone's eyes next time I'm in a fight. <laughs> Pocket corn! You must. You must. Well, I'm gonna go check the Mercenaries Guild one more time before yep. I head to bed. I have sure. a fucking headache and it's killing me. I'll leave I just you to, have it. to go work. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. I fucking hate it. Help me with this. It's the key value. Well, okay. So if, if, if you're oh, not no. interested. Oh, you I are. survived. Hmm. So wait, you you had oh. a ship before him, but you were just going to sell it to me instead. Well, no, he. I'm. I, if I look, I, I I gotta get. I fucking heard her laugh, and then I saw she left the instance, and I was like, "What the fuck?"
regardless. Still need to find someone. I have to get back to my home somehow, and I forgot to bring my torch. Think I'm a thing. The juicier it is, maybe the juicier. <clears throat> All right, chat, let's recap. Kovas is against the Imperials, he's worried about them. What, patrolling the streets? What else? <sighs> yeah, rewind time. His brother seems to be going over the head of the house, which is the current Baroness, despite what they think. Yeah. Trolling the territory. He doesn't want Imperials doing like patrolling through Gradia. Yeah. Checking in one more time just to see how you were doing. Surviving. Nothing crazy. Same old, same old. One thing Desperate that I do need to, to say. Meet with my quarter tomorrow, yes. I will say though, thank you so much for fixing up the hour bracket and the clamps. That was on time. That was just in time. A few others that really needed the help. Fuck you, Simon. That was me, and you know it. This I had heard that um, Miss Sif had gotten injured. I hope it wasn't too bad. Heavily. Uh, I was able to get there just in time. time. What happened? How? Why? Bandits? Some sort of group of dwarven thieves out at my camp pillaging it. They decided to see fit to attack me. They should have come back and gotten the guards. You're important enough to this town where they should go all their way to protect you. Didn't have time. Either I dealt with it myself or all of my stuff would have been gone. I see. Well, I cannot blame you. It's good to see you in one piece. I'm sorry about that, whatever it was. It's okay. I am actually curious. How much iron do you need to make a two-handed axe for me? Oh, I'm God. getting attacked on the force now. 
six iron ingots to do it from scratch. And that's not including the haft itself. You'd have to get from, uh, um, I believe, Mr. Aldo. He'd be happy to do it. I'll see what I can do then. Thank you. Of course. Delivered the I'm last glad that you came up to me just in time. Are you making sure you're resting? <laughs> I'm sitting but now. Yeah. I'm going to be heading off back to my place. I'm going to be closing it in for the night. Uh, get some rest. I need a <laughs> bit more of that. We'll be right back. I need to go to the storehouse. And you too get some rest as well. You definitely. I hope you're still walking all right. Walking's better, vision's still a little bit fuzzy, but other than that, it's okay. Just need to find some sort of light source to get back to the logging camp. Walking right towards me, it scared me. Right, I understand. Apologies. I can Good walk night. you back. Or find somewhere here to stay. Or right. that works too. needs to speak to us when he's done working. Yeah, he's just pop into the store and we should be back soon. Mm. Got something you want to tell him? Yep. It's dark enough now. Hmm? You got something you want to tell him? Not that he already knows. Hmm. Well, that, not that he already doesn't know, but Hello? he asked to speak to us. Are you? Good to see you, Marcus. Good to see you, then. So what's the current conversation topic? I don't know, actually. Good question. <laughs> How great is it that we can see without torches? Average redditor. What's <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what was that? Do you have a stroke? No. Someone. Oh, so okay. I heard Very someone good. say, "Ew, female voice." I need to leave. <laughs> You're not ruining anything, are you? I'm not ruining anything. Oh, okay. Well, just, whoever just they were, they're probably a virgin, especially yeah. if they've never heard a, fem a female voice. Who even says that? What a child. You want to talk to us, does he? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. ding. He's in his own head. He's got a lot on his mind, right? Wrinkly brain. Mm -hmm. 
think. Uh, Shariq, do we have any more charcoal? <clears throat> I can't see anybody. Charcoal, no, but we have wood. We could turn into charcoal. We have four wood. How much wood do we have? That'll keep the... Oh wait, we have one bit of coal. Somehow. Yes. Well, somehow I got yeah. some of our wood turned into it. Actually, I might have turned the four wood you think we have into coal. Oil. Okay. In fact, I might... That makes more sense. Sure. We have one coal and no wood then. I'll adjust that. Forgot to tell you, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm busy all day. It's okay. That means we need wood. Sif just Sif left. Sif, Sif just left. Yep. Well, you, the Sif's right there, walking across to the market. So perhaps you could ask them if they have anything spare. <sighs> Tomorrow's our deadline, Sharik. I've got to work through the night. I think we're being watched over my right shoulder. I see. Well... I can go look Even for more Sif. reason to disperse. For everyone to disperse. <clears throat> I mean, the light the thing? Good evening. Did you have a good day today? Good night. Hard work, but a good day. Seeing they're walking away. Everything is fine. Good evening.
Downstairs. Upstairs is the executive suite. Taking their money. Keep them. Followed them around for a bit. Just kinda seemed like they were looking around. Still. Yeah. I couldn't find Sif, unfortunately. She usually comes by pretty early in the morning. I need to go talk about the hilt with one of the woodworkers. Hmm. Is Aldo still up? Don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. Demon? I actually came looking for you. Oh, what do you need? Going to need another sword hilt. If you can make one, mm. I have a couple of halves available, not a sword hilt. I might, do you mind waiting till the morning for it? My deadline is tomorrow morning. I think it's okay. I saw them disappear into a building. I can get the work right now on it if you need it as soon as possible. It's it didn't look like they had any purpose. Right, I can pay. Pays to be safe, though. It does. Should we watch for the rest of the night? I'll be working in the forge helping on. You should get some sleep. Okay, Dad. I think I'll find a shadowy corner and keep you company. Sure. My room feels a little too dark right now. I'm fine, thank you. Hmm.
This is not me working in peace. I figured I'd assist you tonight. Help a little bit. I'd rather you didn't. Okay. I'd rather you were out and about, able to respond to anything that might happen. I'd rather find out who the fuck is watching us. I'll be around. Scream if you need. Because instead of dealing with one person, we're dealing with two, and one of them is, well, a dredge. And I'd rather not have his company. Uh, we could go to the bathroom. As delightful as I'm sure he is. He wants us to watch sure over him. More to them than we're seeing, but... Oh, even better. I'm gonna get Servitar more useful. and we'll find a spot to set up, okay? I will wait. People who are willing to safeguard us, once the bandits or brigands are dealt with, I don't suppose you would know anyone? I mean, there is a man in heavy plates walking around. I heard that he had escorted some scholars the other day. He was just here when my uh. brother was here. I figured I would ask you, since you would tend to weapons, if you knew anyone. Um, well, most of the mercenaries I know about is, uh, either called or not, or are outside of town. The only person I wish to insult is the child. That might be the best. Will be determined. Perhaps I need to try to leave the keep earlier. We'll cast no call on you.
got it right here, although I might want to check it, make sure it's alright. I might have to make some adjustments. It's alright if there's any adjustments. Here. Careful, the blade is hot. Just stopping by to see your chart. We'll be ready in the morning. Ha. Thank you, uh, Miss Owens. Quite kind of you. Ah, my pleasure. Uh, that Attention's is the great, perfect the size, Mr. Alden. Mm. 20 copies, sir. Oh, actually, uh, let me get cheaper. Uh, mind sharpening this real quick? It's starting to get a little, uh, dull. Sure. Well, well, how much did you want me to give you for the handle? Uh, I was going to say 20, but how much would you charge just for sharpening? I'll do it for free. It really cost me nothing. Yeah, for sure. I'll knock it down to 15 at least. <laughs> that was kind of yeah. Thank you. Careful, Tazim. I might start to like you. Uh, we wouldn't want that, Miss Young. It only, uh, as people befall um, my well spoken guiles, it only brings them ruin. Words are dangerous. They certainly can be. Well, that worked out for more than one person. I might ask you for other furniture, like stools and things like that. I'll pay you up. That's fine. I could definitely get it done quicker if you can get me to the uh, wood. Huh? I think tonight is going to be one of those nights where I don't know what to do with myself. I'll see if I can cause I trouble heard somewhere. That bunch of drinks at the tavern, is that your kind of thing? It's not not my kind of thing. I certainly don't like the fight pit. Thankfully it's they don't have a bit too barbaric for my liking. Very similar. I understand tests of strength and, and uh, people wanting to prove themselves as the strongest, but and it ends in deaths for sport. Just not something I enjoy. And while I understand that some people here are trapped to their fate, regaling in the removal of someone else's body parts is not something I particularly fasten with. Well, well, it is the custom, I suppose. Well, maybe sometime I'll crowd your forge. But not tonight. Huh. Uh, people night, lose limbs in my forge all the time. I'd be careful, Miss Ellen. The way mm -hmm. my apprentice swings the hammer, we're all liable to die. I'm joking. The boy's good at what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Shariq, right? Yes. Shariq, the uh, trial boy. Thank you. He doesn't carry himself like most people. How so? There's a step to him. Sort of ah. faintly regal. <laughs> no, he's just full of himself, I assure you. Sleeps in, I have to wake him up. Keeps myself up all nights because his woman lives with him and the walls are thin. No respect. Oh, geez. No respect. That's why he sleeps in. Is this another Can one of start? your partners? <sighs> um, excuse me. You mentioned that the woman was your partner. Is this another one of your partners? Uh, no, that would be his partner, not mine. No, 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 I, I mean, the boy, Drow. He's my apprentice. Your apprentice? How long yes. have you been teaching him? Phew, God, um, a couple years now, after we, uh, years. came here. We traveled around from marvel. place to place, trying to make some coin that <laughs> never really goes very well, but it is what it is. A lot of our longer-lived kind, the, the drow included from what I understand, it takes a while for us to learn things. If you managed to teach them this much in two years, that's, uh, <coughs> that's incredible. Well, the one thing I'll give the boys, he listens when he wants to, and his craftsmanship has been... <laughs> 
Uh, steadily improving. So he's at so complaints. That's where we're at. Yes, he's at a very destructible age. Sounds like he has a healthy distraction, though. And good work to boot. Well, not before. As long as he does his work, I have no issue with it. You sure you don't need any glue to help with some of your work here? A lot of these are looking pretty tattered. Well, I'll be honest with you, um, Miss Ellen. I had to try and scrape by and buy some iron at exorbitant prices today. I had about eight silver to my name in the morning. I have two now. I don't think I can uh, spare any. I need to make sure my family's fine. So, when I do have the money, I will, of course, uh, get some glue, as I do like to put some on my hilts and pommels to make sure they do not come off, despite the screw lodgings that I make. But uh, I cannot promise that in the near future. So when business is possible, I certainly will seek you out. Sounds really nice. Let me go check on your charcoal. And Aldo. Uh, thank you, Miss Ellen. Do you know anything mm -hmm. about um, other dwarves stabbing Sif? <sighs> well, that's the first time I'm hearing about them stabbing them. Apparently, they snuck up on our on the dwarves. All right. <clears throat> From Maybe what Miss Sif says, and forgive me for interrupting, she said they were rifling through her camp and stealing her things when she found them. So who knows? Now that I wasn't told. I was told they were going up there to cut wood. I think one of them's Sinatra hiding something from me. The clinic. She said Sinatra thieves did it to her. Yeah, she used the word thieves. They're they're claiming that's because they uh they were just trying to cut down some wood and they own the forest. Own the forest. I feel like the Red Dogs would have something to say about that. I think they would mm -hmm. have something to say about that indeed. That's what the Dower is saying. <coughs> <Anyway. Well. sighs> of course that's at the happen as sort as Morden left. He's not gonna be happy when he gets back. No, but I have all the confidence that he will deal with it the way it needs to be. Just mm -hmm. make sure these people don't get you involved in anything. I've already told them all to calm down until the morning gets back. Hopefully they won't try to start anything. Hopefully. Uh, but you know them. When we got our arm cut off, they're not going to sit quietly. Is that what happened? Rest managed to get away without injuries, but one got his arm cut off. He's, uh, he's resting. I see the dilemma now. Hmm. Very well. Just stay alive and stay out of it, Mr. Aldo. I've come to like you. Ah, <sighs> I'll try to. Have a good night. You as well. Give them. Any of ours, was it? Couldn't help it. Ah, oh, come here. I see. We go to take a nap for a couple hours and. Yeah, chaos. So what apparently happened in the morning? Ah. Uh, huh. Oh, I'm terrible with names. I think it was Baldrick? Baldrick. Um. He was fine.
Thank you, Mr. Colley, for the and I'm grateful. Thanks again, Miss Helen. Good night. Take care. You too.
Oh, hello. Good evening. <sighs> A moment. But are you? I have the time in the world. Please enjoy the baths. <laughs> I wanted to ask is it this room? Yes, that one right there. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, it's just, you're welcome. Don't touch anything in there. Oh, oh your I just have my pretty bell. copper. Taking pity on the local. Uh... Hobbits, are we? Another girl is not me. That one's very annoying, actually. He was annoying the arena master. I end up hearing that he was put in a barrel and was shaken around by Dredge, saying, Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Let me check on this room. Go right on in. This looks familiar. It does, doesn't it? <sighs> I like to see you work. It was uh, so. interesting. I left before uh, mm. anything got too steamy. <laughs> Didn't want to intrude. So. Did that help you with anything? It's put a few more pieces into the puzzle. Did he say anything else after I left, or was it more uh, noises? It was mostly noises. I figured. Uh, words of saying, uh, do the people love me? Am I a funny lord? You know. What'd you tell him? Some of his favorite things that he likes to say. Of course I told him. Yes, I do actually like him quite a bit. He is very nice to everybody in town. Hmm. Ever wonder why that is? Maybe because his brother isn't so nice? He should be mm. more stressed you out. You hear how he... If his brother is making all mm. of these plays, I don't... How can he be so carefree? At least in public. I think he wants the people to like him. Not because of anything... malicious. Maybe he hopes that his mother will make him the proper baron of this place. But this is also the so same the brother who is looking at hiring the Sordillo company. Mm. It's, uh, seems like there's a bit of two-faced fuckery happening here. <laughs> well, I am very concerned for him. Hearing the way he talks about his mother. You know, sometimes you can heal, hear the wailing at night. They're going to the top and crying. It's so sad. I could not imagine. Losing someone like that? No. Someone you've spent your entire life with. Yeah, 
I just came to check in, that's all. I don't really have anything else for you today. <laughs> I get anything in return for giving you such a big opportunity? Hmm? What is it that you would like? Gonna be a little bit of both, a little bit of coin, and another kiss from you. I suppose that is fair. It is a uh, <laughs> pretty copper sound today. You did good work. That sounds wonderful to me. <laughs> get your giggles out of that one. I did get my giggles out of that one. I thank you very kindly. Mm. You are a bad influence on me. <laughs> oh. I understand that if I'm dishonest with you. I more than likely will find a dagger placed between my ribs. Oh. Mister. She's gonna grab your jaw, just kind of move your face around. I can't kill you even if I wanted to. You're a piss knight. I'm not gonna be a friend. I'll do your work for you, but that's about it. Don't try and get close to me. It will only end poorly for you. Good day, <laughs> Sir Anders. Likewise, Sarah. And it's Sanders, not Anders. Seems you don't need one of us bathhouse girls. You can get a local all by yourself. You are so up and personal I... with her. <laughs> I do not think it was what you assumed it was, but I am now in a much better mood. <laughs> I see. Well. If you want to do more than just a bath, you just let me know. As wonderful as that sounds, <clears throat> I have my duties to attend to, and I have spent much too much time here. I do appreciate That's the time you've given me. I hope you can dance again sometime. Maybe if I find that pep in my step again, perhaps. But for now, perhaps. I have other things I must attend to. New land, new secrets. Who knows what's underneath? I cannot stay in here with you. I have a fear about these quarries, and I don't want to say it and speak it into reality. Well, if you ever need someone to go peek down there, you know where to look. And not scared of the dark. Just watch scared them. of nothing. I have no wish of. You wouldn't be putting me in danger in such a way. I've always been danger, and I tend to do that with friends. Let me help you in the ways that I know how. Yes, mother. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. <laughs> 
I do look forward to working with you again, Sarah. Necessary, always, you know. I would love to see them develop. Probably not the best way of things. Well, it seems uncanny. If it if it will does his job well, because I didn't know. the first time we found ourselves in water and the bath and all the night. <laughs> or like that, I'm you sure. know. It's too old for me. Ancient fairy. I'm sure in time <laughs> I'll be able to tell you that story. But for now I keep it close to my chest so that you can hear it. Oh, shut up. I am plenty. And I'm sure that mother will. I'm glad I never see her that way. We're all struggling. It's not up to you. <laughs> it's up to him. It's up to me to feel better about how much I owe you. Whether you see it like that or not. Dragon's <laughs> influence. Your son would not be the man he is, and I would not love him the way I do. I would be a rat, probably. He had the building blocks long before you did. No, not the same blocks he provides me. Only an older. <coughs> hey, yo, how does this look from Aunt's perspective? Am I like? barely visible, like through the steam and the shadows, that's kind of what I'm going for. Yeah, you're right. But I know there are times he did that with great honesty and he wished it was different. Oh. But he's still before me. As long as you're proud of him. Not visible. <laughs> Fucking A. Let's go. I wonder if he had DM vision on. I can see them fine from here. I can see everyone in the room right now from where I am. So I've come to see you. At least I think I could see everyone in the room. I hope I could see everyone in the room. <laughs> There's like eight dread knives like directly behind me. Take care of my son and your wife. 
know the way and could find an easier way. Then I could get away. Let's do it then. I'm not dead yet, Jane. I'm not wishing you anywhere, but I can tell you're stressed out, even in a city like Nautilus. Oh God. It's all right. Shinny. I like how Basil's just vibing. These guys, the the the, the actors for the 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 uh, bathhouse workers, I swear they dance for like hours on end in the streets. I, it's impressive. She's like, yeah, thirty copper, hell yeah. Ah, oh, it's so good. Money, doing money stuff. I just like to dance. Do let me know so that I can keep my distance. Because as much as Lola will bring me grief. With being worthy of everything you do with it. The more time that passes, it becomes more dangerous. The bar of success smaller. Part of me hopes to convince him to stay behind. Not a fucking chance. If it comes to that, I have my best to do. Also, not a fucking chance. What's best for him, even if I can't see it. I would never want him to die for this cause. And my only wish is to one day be successful. it's much more than that. Your family is your family is your drow. And I will never ever let a drow die in front of me, regardless of our time. He has a very long life ahead of him, carrying a long name. And I want to see that happen. He could also be useful elsewhere. His influence. We're thinking years Close. in the future, but fuck. <laughs> Time flies. Nice to think of such thing. He, he, he's doing so much better, physically, mentally, and trying to navigate it. But hopefully, with what I will be doing for him, he will be at ease. He's got a lot of guilt in his head. But he feels like yes. he can't um, burden you. I'm sure he's told you about his, his ties to this land. I don't need to go into any detail. I'm He's scared. He's so fucking scared. I know. If it ever comes to it, we'll be kept safe. I think you and I both can agree on that. Of course, I have literally nothing better to do. <laughs> For now. Better shut your mouth, Basil. Until we get tied in some political scheme, thanks to Vezrin. Or something of the like. He's been doing well. But so I've seen. I'm still weary of him, though, within me. But he's asked for my help. Running a trend I see around here. Changed a great deal. Thank you, dear. Tell you talked to the trauma. I got humbled. I know I did. But I don't know what's happened to him. But he's definitely different. He saved all of us. And we were. Mushrooms were present. 
freshly turned Imperials. So they're free. You know what those mushrooms do when they get a hold of the dead. I'm sorry for whatever you had to see. We saw Nicholas. They have him. Did you take care of him? He was too strong. He was massive. He kept saying things that made my heart ache. Don't fucking plague. I can't wait to burn and that. Telling us that we left him behind. Oh, he doesn't look at us to leave. And that's not him either. Memories remain. It's a delusion. It eats away at the mind and then attacks you even from invisible? the distance. Why the hell would Just Nicholas feel moment. that way? Just for one moment. Think of it. Yes, what if it keeps you think. alive? A lot of bodies to burn at once. I think we're all still sick. I don't like to think about that. What will happen when we die? There was something else that was terrifying. I think we saw Risa. Buried her. That the graves like. were all dug up from the inside. All of them. We checked. Like Every someone dug them up? No. Like someone pushed their way out. Eventually, if we come across them, we put them to rest and hope that we were wrong and they were dead a long time ago and that we didn't leave them this earth. But Risa was different, far more terrifying. You could tell that her neck was broken. longer than they should be, her body pale, the skin holding her jaw ripped, her mouth wide open, and her tongue dangling oh, from it. Why are they toying with us? What did we do she to deserve this? Whispered our names, tried to drag us into the dark. What if this is all because of what we did? So long ago, when they were black. What if it's targeting us? It did, and we had no idea what was going to happen. I will tell you one thing I've told none of the others, no one. I think Risa followed us here. She's able to disappear. I thought I was hallucinating. But half a year ago, I saw her standing by a tree. And when I went to get closer, there were claw marks in that tree. Why? Why is she? There must, there must be something here she wants. My only thought is her sister. Is she here? What is she doing here? I have 
have no idea. I, I've seen nothing of a old dryad friend. Hmm. Or, or any others. The only person that spoke here. to them the slightest memory is that green haired woman, but I was wrong. I thought she was from Kagovia. Yeah, they separated. I haven't seen them again. <laughs> it makes me sad, but perhaps it was for the best. I just thought that everything that's happened, perhaps. I don't know. I've looked for her, oh. but not in an extensive way. I don't really know where to look for someone like that, so... No one can blame you. But what I was going to say is I just... felt like... at least I had hoped we had meant more than to just disappear. This entire ordeal has been painful. Yeah. And for people to disappear with no word is heartbreaking. At least that's how I, I feel. So close. Am I just be getting old and sentimental? You've always been sentimental. Ever since I met you. I only met me when I was old. Checks out. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. It's only a matter of time. Things have a funny way of finding me, and vice versa. I peered into the ocean earlier today. Saw something big swim by. It looked like a giant fish. It got me thinking. I have an uncanny way of finding things I shouldn't find. Starting to become aware that this is a problem and not a problem at the same time. Just need to figure out how to use it to my benefit. Starting with That's protecting nice. our sun. I don't know if that's a good line of thinking, sir, but these kinds of things have only ever brought us pain. I remember that affliction I had, the voice in my head. I've been hesitant to ask. It's I've gone no now. longer seen you muttering to yourself. Parasite feels a bit unlovely. You know, maybe I wasn't good enough anymore. It helped me see clearly. It helped me realize that those feelings weren't mine. That projection of someone else's through me. I was trapped for so long. I forgot how to feel my feelings. But fate has a funny way of ripping us through time. Do you want to rest in the bathroom? Or... Yeah, I can wait. I will come. <clears throat> That's a perfect cue for me to get my wrinkly ass out of this bathtub. It was a lovely chat. I hope we can have another one soon. I do get a bit overwhelmed. Um, being so close to you all again is not something I ever expected to happen. We are not enemies, sir. I hope you know that. I feel it. I feel appreciated. If we can ever help you. <coughs> Same goes for you. I'll be 
I'm sure they complain to you as often as I can. Oh, of course, I love people venting to me. I think it's wonderful. Mm. Rest well. Good night. I feel like putting my clothes back on. But this shit. <sighs> Hopefully, your night's well, also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, for me. It's been quiet, but the day shift was. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was running up during the day. What happened? Oh. Had a man <laughs> try and kill one of the guards with a. Oh. Pushed his hand in with a mace. This is your outside. Uh, then we got into a scuffle on the road. Blade almost took my head off. <laughs> you are flashing me. <laughs> hmm? You are flashing me. Oh, boo hoo. I didn't feel like squeezing back into my leathers. I know, so. Difficult sometimes. Right. Nice. Relatable. I'm gonna wait out here. You're going to go. Follow him home. If you get lonely, my door's open. Of course. Good night. Good night. <laughs>